Hello everyone, in this section 11.3, we're talking about other properties of liquids. We've already talked about boiling point, enthalpy of vaporization, and vapor pressure. Um, so you need to understand those properties, and there's some that are more um, larger range, such as viscosity, surface tension, and capillary action. We call these cohesive forces um, because they're more on a larger scale than the um, unique intermolecular forces on the um, nanoscopic level. So <clears throat> they work in conjunction with one another to create these bulk scale forces. So these are cohesive forces are important for these particular um, uh, liquid properties. We're going to talk about surface tension first. Uh, so surface tension is a measure of force required to break the surface of a liquid. Um, so some um, intermolecular forces are at play here. Water in particular is an easy one to understand. You can see the bugs here on the surface of the water. A water has high intermolecular forces, so it's going to have a high surface tension. That's generally the case. Um, the way that this works is the intermolecular forces on the interior create many more connections, many more interactions than on the surface. Um, so there's this net downward force where the particles on the surface want to be on the interior. So literally the surface becomes, um, the surface area of the surface of the liquid becomes less because more particles want to be on the inside. Okay, so that's how surface tension is uh, created. Um, if you wanted to measure, um, get a qualitative or quantitative measure of surface tension, you could look at the contact angle um, when your um, liquids beat up on a flat surface. So here we're looking at uh, mercury. Um, this could be water. I'm not sure uh, what the other liquid is, but you can see what they're looking at here is we can measure the contact angle with a tangent line um, to these beads to see which is going to have the greatest uh, surface tension. Clearly the mercury, um, <clears throat> it's extremely heavy. It's a very unusual property of mercury. It beads up very well, has very high surface tension. The stronger the intermolecular force, um, the greater the surface tension. That just makes sense um, because the um, particles wanting to be on the interior is solely due to the increase in intermolecular forces with the number of particles increasing on the interior of the substance. Um, now, the temperature raising is going to affect the surface tension because as you increase the temperature, you are breaking those interactions a little bit more. Um, so it makes that surface easier to stretch. So we'll discuss a number of other um, properties in the next couple of videos.